everybody, happy Friday. It is time for my Friday read selection and I am excited about this one. So today I am talking about On Golden Pond by Ernest Thompson. It's a play, not a novel. And I saw the movie years ago and I read the play back in college. But I haven't read it in a really long time, so I decided to pick it up again, and I am delighted that I did. It's a romantic comedy, in my opinion. There's some romance, there's some comedy, there is some drama, there is some heartache. It's all good. It is such a good show, bundled up, this relationship, it, it, so much goodness. Okay, let's read the back, which I believe is the same as the Amazon description. This is the love story of Edith and Norman Thayer, who are returning to their summer home on Golden Pond for the 48th year. He is a retired professor, nearly 80, with heart palpitations and a failing memory, but still as tart-tongued, observant, and eager for life as ever. Ethel, 10 years younger, and the perfect foil for Norman, delights in all the small things that have enriched and continue to enrich their long life together. They are visited by their divorced, middle-aged daughter and her dentist fiancé, who then go off to Europe, leaving his teenage son behind for the summer. The boy quickly becomes the grandchild the elderly couple have longed for, and as Norman revels in taking his ward fishing and thrusting good books at him, he also learns some lessons about modern teenage awareness and slang in return. In the final Deeply moving moments of the play, Norman and Ethel are brought even closer together by the incidents of a mild heart attack. Time they know is now against them. But the years have been good and perhaps another summer on Golden Pond still awaits. Okay, it is a heart-wrenching, loving, emotional, play. And I am so glad I picked it up. Okay, it's a classic. On Golden Pond is a classic. The way that Thompson brings these characters to life is simply beautiful. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It is beautiful. It's about life and relationships and the heart. And at its core, it is deeply moving. Okay, so I love when an author like Thompson can take a simple subject, just a simple story such as this, a retired couple going to their summer home to spend some time at the lake house, takes that little simple plot and turns it into so much more. By the end of this script, you are emotionally attached to every one of the characters. You want to know, you care to know what happens to them, and you long to learn more about them. And you don't get to. It's closing credits, it's the take the bow, and that's it, and there is no more. The father-daughter relationship between Norman and Chelsea is heartbreaking. In just the few scenes, because they're not in it a lot, I mean, the, the main show is about Norman and his wife. Um, but the daughter comes in and she's not there for long, but she's in a few scenes in the middle and then she's in a few scenes near the end. So you don't get to see them interact a lot. You don't get to read about them interacting a lot, but in the few scenes that they are together, it is obvious how much they love each other and how much they want to be close. And yet they aren't, they aren't close. Even at one point he says, she says, well, why, we've been fighting for so long. And he said, well, I didn't know that we were fighting. I just thought we didn't like each other. And it's so sad to me. I have such a good relationship with my parents that to, to read this relationship where you know all she wants is to be close to him. She wants to be his friend. She wants to feel loved. Every daughter does. And he wants to love her. He wants to be close, I think, but they're just not close. They just, they clash in every way. But, and it, is, it isn't until Chelsea brings her fiance, her fiance's son, 
to visit that Norman finally gets that relationship with a child and you get to see how that bond is developed and how good it could have been with him and Chelsea had he just been more open to her. And to me that is just, it is devastatingly sad. Um, yeah, I, I, I have such a good relationship, have such a good relationship with my parents that I can't even imagine having a relationship like this that is so, that clashes so much. All right, the husband-wife relationship between Norman and Ethel is beautiful. And it's exactly what I believe my, gran my grandparents had, my uh, father's parents. They lived a very similar life, a very simple life, and they were each other's best friends. They weren't even just each other's best friends. They were each other's soulmates in every way. They were perfect together. At least that's what they showed me, that's what they showed their grandkids, is that they were perfect together. And I believe that Thompson wrote this relationship, this relationship between Norman and Ethel, so perfectly, almost too perfectly, but not unbelievably perfect. Does that make sense? So there are very few relationships, I believe, that are absolutely perfect. And he wrote this one to be so perfect. And yet, you do see the flaws underneath. If you read between the lines, you do see the flaws. And yet, it's okay. Because there's so much love there that even the flaws are perfect. All right, as an actress, wow. Reading this script, I now have two roles on my dream list of characters that I would love to play at some point, obviously. Chelsea is a more immediate because I'm in that age range where I could probably do that. And uh, maybe for the next five or so years, I could play that easily. And then later on down the road, when I'm gray haired and old, Ethel is absolutely a role that I would love to play. I think that she is so beautifully written and the relationship is just so perfectly written. And I can envision the show so well that I just, I would love to see it put on stage and I would love to be a part of that. As the director in me, I love directing theater. I think this one would be hard to direct simply because I love the character so much and I would want to be a part of it. It would be hard for me to sit back and watch when I know that I really want to be on stage. Maybe I'm kind of, when I get into that age range where I'm too old for Chelsea and too young for Ethel, that would be the perfect time for me to try to direct this one. All right. Appearance, it's, you know, your typical green, plain colored, black text, uh, dramatic, dramatist play service cover. Yeah, this is how I like my plays to look because there's no pictures of the characters. It leaves everything up to my imagination and I can decide what the characters look like as I read the play. So this is how I like it. I have two favorite quotes from this one. The first is, sometimes you have to look hard at a person. And remember, he's doing the best he can. He's just trying to find his way just like you. That's the first one. And the second one is, well, that's what happens if you live, a lo if you live long enough. You end up being old. It's one of the disadvantages of a long life. I still prefer it to the alternative. Right? Yeah, I'd rather be old than the alternative, right? Okay, that is on Golden Pond. It is also a movie, like I said in the beginning, it is a movie, it was directed by Mark Rydell and um, Catherine Hepburn played Ethel. Uh, Henry Fonda played her husband and Jane Fonda played the daughter. How cool is that, that Henry Fonda and his daughter Jane Fonda played father and daughter in this film. I think that is pretty awesome myself. All right, if you have read the play, comment below and let me know what you thought. If you've seen the movie, comment below and let me know what you thought. I'm definitely gonna be renting this one and watching it soon. So I will have a movie review posted, hopefully in the next couple of months on this one.
All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a second to click like down below, share it with your friends. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe, that little bell down below, somewhere up above, and pretty soon right here, my little face will pop up and you can click on that to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss one of my videos. All right, everybody, have a wonderful day, a happy week, and happy reading.